Hello and welcome to another video. So today I'm going to solve this problem. It's a really nice problem consisting of two squares. So we have this smaller yellow square ABCD and we're told that that has an area of four. We have uh, this line ACH and that has length seven root two. And actually that's all the information we're given. And with that we have to find the area of the uh, blue square DEFG. So I'm going to be going through this uh, solution step by step, but I suggest you have a go yourselves. So why don't you stop the video, give it your best shot, and then resume the video when you want to see the solution. Okay, so let's start off looking at the smaller yellow square. So since it's a square, we know that the length of all sides are obviously equal. So actually two of these sides, I'm just gonna give uh, length x. We don't know what the length is yet, but we do know that the area of a square is uh, the length times by itself. So x squared is equal to four. So therefore one x or one side is length two. So that's a nice little start. And actually what we have now, and we know that this is a right angle, uh, obviously, because it's a square. So we have a right angle triangle, ABC. And we can actually use Pythagoras to find length AC. So that'd be A squared add B squared equals to the hypotenuse squared. So let's do that now. So we have two squared add two squared equals the hypotenuse squared, which is AC. So if four, add four equals AC squared. So AC squared is equal to eight. So AC would be the square root of eight. So I'm gonna write that in there. So we have this length now, A to C, we know is length root eight. We also know that the length of a to h is 7 root 2. So that means we can actually find the length from c to h, because that will be the length of the longer line minus the length of the uh, root 8 that we've just found will give us ch. So let's write that down here. So ch is equal to ah minus ac. Okay, so what we're doing, ch is equal to, what is that, 7 root 2 minus root 8. But it's very difficult to take root 8 away from 7 root 2, so what we can do is actually simplify uh, root 8. Let's do that up here. And there's a little rule, actually, um, when you have root ab, so ab represents a number that can be represented by multiplying root a times by root b. So in other words, if we have root eight, we need uh, two numbers that multiplied together equals eight, one of which is a square. So that would be root four, root two. And the whole point of having one that is a square is we can do the square root of a square number. So we then have two root two. So that's actually root eight written in its simplest form. So now we can, uh, let's go back to purple, we can rewrite uh, ch is equal to seven root two minus two root two. And that seven root two minus two root two is just five root two. So we can update our diagram again. So five root two is the length ch, so there to that. Now, since uh, this long line ACH uh, is going through the diagonal of a square, it must be 45 degrees. So that means that we're also creating another isosceles triangle here. So let's call this length, let's call this length A. Let's call this length A. So we can use Pythagoras again, because we know that A squared add A squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared, which we've just found um, as five root two. 
So let's jot all that down. We know that a squared add a squared is equal to 5 root 2 squared. Okay, so we can add these two together. So there's just two of them, 2a squared. Now we're going to square all of this. So you actually have to square each individual part of it. So first we're going to square 5, which is obviously 25. And by the way, 5 root 2 means 5 times by root 2. So if we square root 2 now, because you're squaring and square rooting together, that's the inverse of one another, so that just cancels, cancels itself out. So that just leaves 2. So 25 times 2, uh, we can rewrite, is obviously 50. OK, so divide both sides by 2, and we get a squared equals 25. Uh, so square root both sides and we get a is equal to 5. So what we've found now is that a is equal to 5. So a is equal to 5. And we actually have everything we need now. So we know that this little length here uh, is 2 and we've got the rest of the length of the blue square is 5. So we've got the length um, of the blue square, basically, which is 2 add 5, which is obviously 7, is the length of each side of the blue square. And if we square that, we will get the area of the square, which is 49. So that is it, basically. So if you had another way or some interesting uh, observations, then by all means, uh, leave a comment in the comment section below. Um, if you found it interesting, um, please give it a like. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video and see you soon.